Jordan Peele's directorial debut, Get Out, expertly blends horror, satire, and comedy into what is already likely to be one of the best thrillers of the year. It balances all these elements so perfectly that I didn't really have any problems with this movie at all. I'm really just going to be talking about how good this movie is, so if that's all you need, get out to the theater and go see this movie. I'm sure there's a lot you'll get out of it, unless they already let it get out of theaters. Get out and go. I'm Ryan O'Rourke and this is Real Talk. The general premise of Get Out is that the main character, Chris, a black man played by Daniel Kaluuya, is about to meet his girlfriend Rose's all-white family at their large estate for the first time. Chris is nervous both because Rose hasn't told her family that he's black, as well as the fact that white people make him nervous. But we all feel that way, so. <laughs> From there, how Rose's white family and all their rich friends react to Chris is about what he expected with awkward racial tension and commenting on his blackness, and all of these interactions are hilarious in how awkward they are for Chris to react to. But he also starts noticing things here and there that allude to something strange going on. The family only has two black servants, both of whom act incredibly creepy, and Rose's mom practices hypnotherapy as a psychiatrist and keeps asking Chris to try it out so he can quit smoking, like really persistently. I'll be holding off on major spoilers from here on out because trying to figure out just what's going on in this house is one of the most engaging parts of the movie. Just There's so many mysteries and different directions that it goes, I don't want to ruin it for you because it's actually a really well-crafted mystery. So, director Jordan Peele's confidence to walk along that dangerous line of comedy and horror must be applauded. He's able to use the elements of horror for comedic value and take moments that should normally be funny but make them disturbing. The fact that he can do this while also having the horror elements that still frighten and comedic moments that still pay off is impressive to say the least. There are huge standout performances in this movie that I just have to applaud. Daniel Kaluuya is a phenomenal lead that engages you in his struggles with his performance, his almost fourth wall breaking comedic timing in response to his awkward encounters with, his, with all these white people is great, and the way he commits to more avant-garde moments in the film is mesmerizing. There's lots of surreal moments in the movie, and he commits head on, and it's phenomenal. The other performances in the movie are great as well. All the white people are perfectly white creepy, but I have to take a moment to give credit to Lil Rel Howery as Chris's best friend, Rod. He is great, and everyone that's seen this movie knows that even though Rod was just a comic relief character that Chris occasionally talks to over the phone, he was an absolute show stealer. Every line Rod had was consistently hilarious to everyone in the theater, and even though I can usually get kind of annoyed with that kind of comic relief role in any other movie, Get Out is so good that I was in love with Rod and every moment with him in it by the end. There's absolutely no mistaking that this is a horror movie that's exclusively an allegory of the black experience and white social circles. This ties back into the avant-garde aspects of the film I mentioned earlier, but the horrific situations this movie presents the black protagonist in relation to his white antagonist are perfect metaphorical parallels to real sentiments of the black community. Again, I'm not going to spoil them, but everything is spot on when you take a second to think about it. Every choice Jordan Peele made was perfectly thought out, and it all comes together to be a genius thriller that puts the struggles of black people in a fully-fledged protagonist role, which is really refreshing given Hollywood's general lack of these kinds of stories. There's also an important point to me made, though, about the audience in relation to the film. Obviously, white people are going to see this movie, too. And because Jordan Peele has crafted such a gripping protagonist that, by the final act, everyone will root for, white audience members like myself were rooting for Chris in the final act just as much as everyone else. This happened to such a degree, however, that I think it's important for white viewers of this movie not to allow themselves to feel too separated from the white antagonists. The antagonists aren't caricatures of racist Southerners, after all. They're caricatures of white liberals and how they exoticize black people in their daily lives. If white audiences separate themselves from the antagonists, thinking to themselves, no, oh, I'm, I'm not like those white people. I just happen to also be a white person, and I'm 
still doing all those things the white people in this movie do, the entire point of the movie is lost because every white person can be racist to an extent, even if they don't think so, however implicitly. And to think otherwise is irresponsible and directly contradicts Jordan Peele's vision with Get Out. Keeping that in mind, Get Out is a fantastic mystery thriller that will scare you, make you laugh, and make you think. It all comes together into a perfect package. It's one of the greatest movie-going experiences I've had in recent memory in terms of how engaged and together the audience is. It's such an important movie, so you have to see Get Out in theaters. And if you can't see it while it's still in theaters, that sucks, but still see it on DVD. It's really important, and it's a fantastic movie. For more movie news and reviews, check EmertainmentMonthly.com. And don't forget to share and like this video and subscribe to Entertainment Monthly below on YouTube. I'm Ryan O'Rourke, and this was Real Talk. Now get out of here. I'm sorry.